This video is a sequel to the video we have posted on YouTube uh, called Ikaho Planning for Wi-Fi in Multi-Story Warehouses. In the original video, we demonstrated how uh, a three-story warehouse could be created as a single-story building for planning purposes. And in this video, we will be showing how the same warehouse can be created in a multi-story or a building um, settings. If the original perspective is recalled, uh, the warehouse was a three-story warehouse. Each floor is three meters apart. On the top of the second floor, there is racking system. In order to do this, we will be loading the uh, top view or the floor plan of the, of the warehouse. Uh, all the three floors are combined on top of each other. The red represents the ground floor. The uh, dark blue is the uh, floor number one and light blue is floor number two, followed by the racks which are represented by a green color. First thing that we do is we will rename this floor as ground floor as a reference. Next we will scale. And we know the length to be 18 meters. Next we will uh, define attenuation surfaces. It was concrete in the original uh, video, uh, so we will be using concrete. We will not define the height. The height will be dictated by the way we create the building um, height as three meters per floor. Uh, so we simply draw the concrete wall surrounding the building. And the next thing that we need to do is we need to define the alignment points. And alignment points are the points that are common between all the floors. So columns, pillars, staircases, and so forth can be used. I will be using one point here, one point here, and one point here. The next we need to define is the coverage area where the signal will be uh, propagating through. Also, we can define what areas we do not want any access point placement, which will be valid for this uh, scenario because we have floors that are not fully covered. So first we will define the um, coverage area. And it will be marked by blue. So we have now simply created the uh, ground floor. Uh, now, there is some areas that if we look at the original uh, perspective, we can see we cannot physically place access points in this free space here. Uh, so we have to define it and uh, state to the to the ECAHO that these areas we do not want, we cannot place any access points. So we go and we will define this, this area. And uh, that would be called within the, within the same function. We can do that. So what we do is simply within the boundaries, we define the exclusion areas. So the exclusion area will be here, 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 the entire area that is being defined are all exclusion areas. Of course, we can edit this at any moment. So we can click on the exclusion area and adjust it a little bit. Here and there, there should be no issues. So this is the way we have defined floor, ground floor. Uh, in order to now create second floor, we do not need to redraw everything. We can just simply uh, duplicate the map, and we will have a copy of the ground floor. We will name this floor number one. Uh, and we will be doing the modification. Looking back at the perspective, we will see that here, if we assume this is the floor, we have here empty area, so that will be our hole in the floor. And then this area will be the area that we do not want any access point placement. So we go to floor number one, and we modify these. We, I remove this area entirely. And we have now no uh, internal area. So first thing that we do is we, again going back to the map, we will first define the hole in the floor, which is this area. 
And then on top of that, we will call, we will place the areas that we do not want any agents. Uh, creating the empty space uh, on the base of this floor will be through holding the floor function. We simply draw and it will be marked with checker marks as shown. This will be our hole in the floor. Now we will also define areas that we cannot place an access point, which is this surface area. We cannot do it for this floor. So we go to floor one and we go to the coverage area function and we define the areas that we cannot put any access point for this floor in specific, which is this entire area. Now that we have done this, we can go back to ground floor and then this time make another duplicate for floor number two and then we will be making the modifications accordingly. So we will duplicate the map again and we will rename this floor two. So we have now floor one, floor two, and ground floor. So we will modify floor two by removing this area. We do not need this. By looking at the perspective, we can see that we only have hole in the floor for this this floor, as the entire top portion of the of the warehouse will be covered. So we will be defining only hole in the floor, and the hole in the floor will be this area. And uh, within the free space, the signal will be propagating completely differently than in the closed spaces. So that's why we need to define hole in the floor. And this is now hole in the floor for uh, floor number two. Last thing is defining the racking system. We will use the attenuation volume function. We will select warehouse rack. And we do not need to define the height as the height will be dictated by the full height of the floor, which is three meters, and will be defined through creation of a building. So we simply create the racks. And we can also, since we cannot physically place access points on top of these racks, we can also put these in the exclusion area as well. So what I can do is basically define the exclusion area. And the exclusion area. Under the exclusion area. And finally, the last one. We have completed now defining all the parameters. Next we need to do is we need to create our building. So we say add a building. Uh, by the way, we beforehand we have to move this floor uh, that we have used as a reference, the perspective floor. So we'll select that one and we simply say remove and the perspective will be removed from both floors. Now we can have our building, we call it warehouse. floors and we add the floors so we add this floor um, then we can add another floor on top of it for floor number one and we select from the list floor number one 
and we add another floor above that and we call that one floor number two as you can see it will as it is assigning various maps to different floors the number of floors becomes less and less the next thing we need to do is we need to define the height and last is the flooring uh, we will be using heavy flooring uh, for all the floors which will represent the metal object that we have and that should suffice what the building requirements are next thing we need to do is go to the planning mode and we will define the same radio that we have done in the original video uh, 802.11ac world radio uh, optimized for 5 gig band we define the height of the antennas to be at 2.9 meters due to the fact that the height of each floor is 3 meters and we do a creating plan and the plan for all floors are created this is for floor number one this is for floor number two and eventually we have floor number three so all these are represented here uh, separately and if you want to see the signal uh, strength for all the floors we can see this is for ground ground floor floor one and eventually for floor two we can see the signal propagation and we can see that the IEPs are not placed in the areas that we excluded for each floor uh, additionally uh, what we can do is uh, we can move and modify to see uh, the height uh, of the antennas or the angle of the antennas uh, we can change the pitch or the yaw of the antenna and see how the signal will change in order to do that we go and we uh, select signal strength for selected access points and as an example we select one access point here and we can see the signal propagation i can simply rotate the antenna and see the signal change uh, i can also see only five gigahertz because that's what we are uh, designing the network for and also i can change the pitch of antennas individually or all together and for example i can select minus 45 degrees and for the two radio and then for the five gig radio i can do the same thing and you can see by just simply selecting and changing the uh, angle of the antenna the pitch the propagation properties change drastically this concludes our demonstration of how to create a warehouse with the function of using the building.